Hello stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the U.S. Today I have a special treat for you. It is August 1st and that's the day that the Stamping Society always does a blog hop. We are going to be using the Tree Angle or the Peace and Joy stamp set. We got to choose and I use them both. So. I know it's barely the start of August, but it's never too early to get started on your Christmas cards, right? Right? Okay, let's flip this camera around. I'll give you all the details on a exclusive video tutorial that is available, how you can get it, and show you how to make some really pretty Christmas cards. Okay. So, these two stamp sets are so much fun. First of all, the Tree Angle stamp set coordinates with the stitched triangles dies, and there's just a whole bunch of really cool elements in here. But these triangles cut out these Christmas trees, which is really fun, and leave a stitched edge. I'll show you that in a second. Then, we have the Peace and Joy stamp set and a set of Joy dies. And you've actually got three layers of words here to die cut, which makes the stacking really fun. So I will show you that in just a second also. I like to bring in my card layers first. And what I've got here is a card base of Coastal Cabana. You can find all of the details, still photos for these projects on my blog, which is listed right here. This is five and a half by eight and a half, standard A2 card size. We're just gonna fold that and burnish that edge good. Then I've got a piece of Whisper White that's four by five and a quarter. This goes on the inside of our card. I chose the In Good Taste Designer Series Paper. This set of Designer Series Paper is just so amazing. There are so many different textile-y type patterns in here that you have just a huge array to choose from. I, choose to, I chose to use this one, this wood grain, and then it has the octagon like tiles. This looks like marble tiles on the back. We're gonna be using this side right here, but I certainly could have used almost anything in here for the card that we're gonna make. And then I've got a Whisper White envelope because we're gonna decorate that too. The first thing we're going to do here is add our designer series paper to the front of our card. This is three and a half by five and a half. And we're just gonna put that right here in the middle. So we've got that Coastal Cabana showing up on the top and the bottom with a pretty good size margin. I like that look a lot. Then the next thing that we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be doing a little stamping. I chose to use really bright colors for my card. That's kind of an, a different thing for Christmas is to use the bright colors. They're fun and they make me happy. <laughs> I've got Granny Apple Green here. I'm going to take this design and I'm going to stamp my Christmas tree. And then I'm also going to stamp my Christmas tree trunk. Next, we're gonna bring in our real red, and I've gotta clean that stamp off. Actually, I need to clean, whoops, where'd that other one go? Both of these off. Here comes our real red, and I'm just going to stamp my tree, and again, clean, stamp my trunk, clean, and guess what color we're using next? Doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that out. We're going with the Coastal Cabana. We're gonna stamp that and then stamp our tree trunk. Okay, now that we have that done, we have some die cutting to do. Uh, I think before we go any further, we're just going to get the inside stamped up as long as we have all our ink out here. It'll be quick and easy. Whoops, look what I just did. Do you guys ever have this fail with red ink. Like, it doesn't seem to matter. But I always, 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 and then look at it, it's so hard to get off. If you guys watch me, follow me, 
I like to use lava soap and that'll take the ink off of your fingers. Like let's say like I had to go out for lunch or out for dinner right now. I don't want to be looking like a mess, right? Lava soap will get that ink off. Now inside the Peace and Joy set, we have all these little black words. Whoops. And I'm going to use that for my sentiment on the inside of my card. So we're going to ink that up in our Coastal Cabana and stamp that right in the middle. And then I thought I'd bring some of those cute elements from the Peace and Joy. Oops, here's my berries. So we've got some holly leaves. I'm just going to put those right down here. And there's also a stamp for the holly berries. Not holly berry, but holly berries. <laughs> Nobody thought holly berry, did they? <laughs> and then, as long as we've got all this out, I like to decorate up my envelopes. So I'm just going to put some little leaves on there, some holly leaves, and some holly berries. Okay, envelope is done. The inside of my card is done. We can add that right away. Less time and chance to lose it. Do you guys lose a lot of stuff in your office? Like, I lose stuff constantly. Funny little story. Haley is making some swap cards for me. That's my daughter, in case you, you're new to me. She's making some swap cards for me. And she's like, Mom, I just lost the Jingle Bell die. I can't find it any place. And we searched everywhere. We looked on the floor. We looked all over my office. Because you know how you can't see stuff? Well, lo and behold, it was laying right on her desk. And I know how that is. Okay, here comes our scraps. We have some die cutting to do. So besides die cutting out our Christmas trees, which uses, I think this little die right here. Nope, that one's too big. And again, this is the stitched angles. We have a whole triangle stamp set that goes with these dies too. So it's cool that they work with the tree angle stamp set and also a triangle stamp set. Okay, so we're gonna die cut all of these. And then I need, one of these words says bright, and that's the one. I've also got another card that I'm gonna share with you that's really cool, you guys. You're gonna love it, um, using the joy and the peace. So, let me find, this is my bright. I've got a piece of vellum cardstock. This is the background for the word bright, and I'll show you how this all goes together in just a second. Then we're going to do the, um, layer number two in the Coastal Cabana and the thinnest layer of the bright on the real red. I'm going to go die cut and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that we've got all these pieces cut out, we need to take your take your pick tool and pop a couple, or pop a couple, pop all the little bits out. This one is pretty simple. There's not a lot that needs to come out. The one thing I wanna caution you about is the eye for your bright. Where did that go? Here's our bright right here. You wanna make sure you hang on to that little teeny weeny weeny eye. And I'm going to just take a tiny little bit, whoops, that's a little bit more bit than I wanted, tiny little spot of glue and then I kept track of my eye and I'm telling you this because believe me it is so frustrating if you don't keep track of your eye because look at it's very easy to lose now if you happen to lose your eye you can certainly die cut another little eye it's not that big of a deal but you know I don't know about you but we as stampers we like to keep moving along right Okay, so I'm just going to put that little eye down there. There we go. And then, while using the, um, I tried using the adhesive sheets on this, and you're certainly welcome to. 
what I found is that it was a little bit easier to use glue because the adhesive sheets with this being so delicate, it kind of pulled and distorted it and then it made it, the whole thing was sticky and it was just kind of tricky to work with it like that. So there's a little hint for you. And this I think is just such a cool design. I absolutely love it. Look at how that fits right on there. Isn't that just the coolest thing ever? And then I wanted another layer to go behind it and I tried all different kinds of color combinations. What I came up that I liked the best was vellum to go with this particular card. So I am going to add a little bit of glue to the back of this. This sets right on here. Look at how cool that is. Okay, next thing. We've got all these little tree trunks. We don't have a die to cut those out, but don't panic, because they're super duper easy. And what I did is I just cut like this, and you wanna leave a little bit on the part that's going to be the top of your trunk, like that. And we're just going to take a touch of glue, just a little dot of glue. This is the easiest way that I know to do this. And just set your tree right in on top of it. You can see and make sure it's centered and it's straight and all the things. I've already cut these out just to save a little bit of time. Here comes that one. Last but not least is our real red. Oops. And there we go. Now, we're gonna put dimensionals on the back of all of these. And just in case you're new to me, I have mini dimensionals and regular dimensionals. I use a Sharpie marker to mark all over these. I draw a stripe down all the lines of dimensionals and in a second you're gonna see why I do that. It's a real simple, quick, easy thing to do, but I'll tell you, it saves me, whoops, so much time. And then we're gonna, now remember, your dimensionals need to stay behind that coastal cabana layer so you don't see them through the vellum cardstock. So three, of, three on there should be a about enough. All right, one last thing. I grabbed the Playing With Patterns. Now this is a triple um, pack of ribbon called Playing With Patterns. This is the Coastal Cabana, and I thought this would be a pretty little embellishment whoops, on the bottom of my card. So I just took this, and I'm gonna tie it in a knot over here on the side, just like this. There we go. Snip that off a little bit. And move that down just a touch. There we go. Okay, we are ready. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm going to get the backings off of my dimensionals. And do you see what I mean by having those black stripes on there? I know those backings are off. I don't have to go around touching my dimensionals to make sure that I got all the backings off. And that's what I love about this little trick. It was shared with me by one of my followers and that was like just an aha moment. It was crazy. And what was really funny is I told my daughter Haley that was gonna be my tip video for the week. And she like looked at me like I was crazy and she thought it was stupid and whatever. But guess what? I heard from so many of you guys that it was just a game changer. So thank you and I shared that information with Haley. Because sometimes a mama just has to go, ah, told you so, <laughs> right? I didn't get enough glue on here, hang on. I'm not a big told you so mama, because I don't like that. I mean, nobody wants to be told that they're wrong, but in that case, it was kind of funny, because we argued over it. Not bad argued, but she's like, mom, that's really dumb. And I'm like, no Haley, I know this. It's gonna be a game changer. And it was. So thank you <laughs> for those of you that told me you love that idea. Okay, so now I need to move this over a little bit. So I'm just gonna pull that ribbon over a little bit, get my knot over towards the side a little bit more, and now I'm just gonna bring this bright in here. Look at how 
fun this is. Isn't that not just the funnest little Christmas card? There's more. Now we're gonna bring in some red rhinestones. And you get, I think there's like 270 red rhinestones or something like that on a card. Let's see, let me do some math. 200, 220, 220 of these red rhinestones on a card. So you don't have to feel like you need to be chintzy with them, right? When I get a ton of embellishments, I'm more likely to use more of them on each card. And of course, I think this one really looks adorable with all of these. Now there's one thing I forgot to do. I hope I can do it and leave room for it. I completely forgot about my words. I need Mary and. So here's my and. My Mary is on the top of this one. I'm gonna grab my red ink. I almost forgot this part. Here comes my bright, or I'm sorry, my Mary. And then where did my and word go? My and is right here. There we go. Everything turned out good. Let's get that red ink closed up. And again, I love these little blocky things because you can just add them all over the place as many times as you want and they're quick and easy. I just like to cut. I like to leave a little margin of the cardstock color above and below and on both sides. There we go, let's not lose that. And then here comes our Mary. There we go. All right, now we're gonna do a mini dimensionals on here too. Whoops, I just pulled the back off. There's one. Here's two for good support. Oh, you know what? I wasn't supposed to add dimensionals to these. There's one. <laughs> There goes all our good support. <laughs> I'm glad we get a lot of dimensionals in a pack too. Okay, let me show you what I did with these. We're gonna take a Mary, and we're just gonna glue these down instead of adding dimensionals. I made another card where I did add a dimensional to the back. And I'm going to, like I said, I forgot about this. I'm gonna move one of my rhinestones up there I'm gonna leave my Mary hang off the side just a little bit, get it on here so that it looks straight. Here comes my little and. And I'm just gonna line that up right below it. Just like that. Oh my gosh, whoops, that's a little crooked, hang on. There we go. Look at that, Mary and Bright. Is that not the cutest thing? Ugh. Hang on, I think I just, I almost stuck my sweater arm in that. <laughs> Some days are a mess. <laughs> Here's our little envelope to go with it. And then like I said, I have got another card here to share with you. I took the same, pretty much the same kind of idea. I used that ribbon and ran it behind. I stuck it down to my designer series paper and then put the red tree on top of it. We've got the peace and joy here. And this is a tall card. Maybe if I can get it open. It seemed to be very fumbly today. And then here is my envelope. So what do you guys think? Super cute, right? Oh, this layer of designer series paper is four by five and a half. Everything else is pretty much the same for um, both of these cards, just a different layout. So now there is a blog hop and I want you to, um, if you're watching on YouTube, underneath the video is some information. When you click on the show more, it's going to bring you to a link right to my blog directly to this particular project. My link that I always say click up here in the right hand corner, I'm going to try to put that in here when I edit my video, but YouTube has not been cooperating with me lately, so just know that if I say click up here and there's nothing to click, that's why. That's confusing, right? Peace and Joy, and the Joy Dies, Tree Angle, and the Stitched Triangles. Now, there is a exclusive video tutorial that I have every month. If you place an order with me during the month of August, you will get that tutorial using these two bundles for free. It's my gift to you. 
or you can buy the tutorial from, from me for $7. And that link, again, will be on my blog. You'll see a, a buy now button, a PayPal button. You can certainly buy it. This That file is available to buy if you're global. So if you're not in the United States, you can certainly buy it. And make sure you go over to my blog so that you can follow along on the blog hop, see what everyone else made. I can tell you I've seen all the projects for the blog hop and the exclusive video projects that will only be in that file. They are outstanding. This design team is just incredibly talented making some really beautiful stuff. There is somebody in each country, six different countries. It's pretty cool. So. If you would like to place an order with me, I always appreciate your orders. This is my current host code. You'll be prompted for that. Only use that if your order is over $150. Nope, I said that wrong. Only use that if your order is under $150. If it's over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! and I want you to have those. As usual, you guys, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. This is a great way to kick off your August. I will be live tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Central Time, on Facebook at a stamp above dash your creative coach. If you would like to join me, we are going to have a lot of fun. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend it with me. Click up here if there's a link there or head over to my blog to join the blog hop. Have yourselves a great Saturday. Bye-bye.